In Australia and in many developed countries in the world, um, airway inflammation has become an increasingly common problem. And this really includes rhinitis, sinus disease and asthma. These have become really common diseases in our community. These conditions affect up to 9% of the population. Many of our treatment paradigms for treating these conditions were focused on infection and treating with antibiotics. But our research now tells us that what is going on in many of these diseases is chronic inflammation. And therefore our treatment regime and paradigms of how we manage this condition have really changed in recent years. Corncat was a PhD student who worked with us and he really pioneered some of our outcome studies into using corticosteroid or anti-inflammatory nasal irrigations to treat people who develop chronic sinus disease and nasal polyps. So what we do now is we provide a surgical intervention for patients where we change the anatomy of the sinuses and then we give patients a way of delivering topical anti-inflammatory treatments directly into their sinuses to control this condition. In providing this approach, CornCat really provided a change in our treatment strategy that's not been adopted just here in Australia but also in North America, Canada and New Zealand and really has sparked a new treatment strategy for managing this condition in which we empower patients to look after their condition by using a daily treatment. Now this type of strategy is very similar to asthma. Just like an asthmatic patient might use a preventative puffer, we too are using the same philosophy, but just to manage upper airway inflammation.